The next stage of the procedure is to mix the epoxy. So I'll take the epoxy package, notice this one's been opened, and inside you'll find a package uh, such as this. It's a two-part adhesive mix. It's been separated and pre-measured. Each side, one is the hardener and one is the resin. Okay. The mixing process is fairly simple. We take apart the divider. We lay that on a flat surface. And depending on which side uh, is more comfortable to you, we take the two halves and we start kneading the epoxy back and forth. There are some specific tools uh, out there in the world people do sell for this job. But the easiest way to really do this is to take these sharp edges and start kneading the epoxy back and forth together. And as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm doing it inside the package. I'm not removing the epoxy from the package. So it is a neat process. And you'll notice I'm turning the epoxy around. So I'm making sure the two parts do come together. And it's important to remember that the epoxy be thoroughly mixed. If the epoxy is not thoroughly mixed, it will not cure properly. So spend a few minutes doing this. Once thoroughly mixed, the epoxy is going to have approximately 30 minutes of what we call pot life, or the time before it gets already too hard to work with. Epoxy is uh, all completely and thoroughly mixed now, and you'll notice that it'll start to settle. We can pop that open maybe a little bit. It'll start to settle to uh, one side on the lower side here. And we're going to uh, get our syringe ready to have the epoxy placed inside it. Remove the front cap, discard that in the bin. Might as well discard the mixing parts or the separator parts as well. Remove the plunger from the back of the connector of the uh, syringe. Place that over there. The needle goes on the front with the twisting motion. That's nice and tight. Okay. Now we're going to open up the package of epoxy. And an important note here is do not use the Kevlar scissors to open up the package of epoxy. This epoxy is very hard. Once it dries, it's basically designed only to be ground off. It will not wash off with standard solvents like alcohols. Once it's hardened, that's it. It's there for good. It'll render the scissors uh, useless. And since they're designed to cut through materials as strong as Kevlar, uh, you don't want to do that to them. Find an alternate pack, uh, type of cutting instrument, a utility knife, a uh, pair of good shears, and just cut through the top. Put that in your trash bin. Get them out of the way. Notice this will pop open. See how that just separates like so? And just proceed to pour the epoxy into the syringe. You notice that while it's still liquid, it'll flow pretty evenly. And you'll also notice that it's all settling uh, towards the front of the syringe. Okay, once it's fully emptied out into the syringe, discard that so that it doesn't get all over the place. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pop the plunger back into the back of the syringe until it pops through. Have your Kim wipes ready because some of the adhesive will begin to move forward. Let's see if we can't show that. It will begin to uh, move forward into, there it comes, you see that? And that will get out all over the place. So we don't want that happening. So cover the front of the needle with the Kim wipe and just allow the epoxy to fall back to the back end of the syringe. Once it's pretty much there, we can move the plunger forward to get rid of the air space inside the syringe. And there you can hear the bubbling effect. There it is. I'll just back off on that just a little bit to empty out the needle. There you go. And that gets the needle clear of any, any material. We can set that sit for just a second while we get ready for the next set. 